you guys. Steve here from Greenway Outdoor Maintenance. I'm under, what will soon be the, the demolished I-70 Viaduct. There's one little section here for about two blocks. We painted it. Well, there's a, this is down the area of town. It's not very good, but anyway, again, for these two blocks here, up here, and then down underneath the viaduct there, underneath the train tracks, they painted it, the local artists got together and they painted it. And this will soon be all demolished. And I'm down here today filming this to show you some of the beautiful artwork that will soon be gone. Because they're going to demolish all this underneath here, they're going to put all this. See, I'm going down, so eventually the new highway will be down underground and they're gonna build it over on that side then demolish this side and build this second half to be like 12 lanes underneath I think it's silly to put it underground but anyway this viaduct is like 60 years old it's falling down I don't think it's falling down too bad to me it looks like the concrete's still holding it together <laughs> anyway but that's some of the artwork there on this side and forever triggs rest in peace two buck bits whatever that means but they got some very nice artwork along here. I'm going to walk down this side and film this side over here and then I'll cross and then I'll film the side behind me here. So you can see the cars going along here. Not really busy out here. All the highways up on top of the viaduct. But they painted this. I thought, well, I'll come down and film this before they tear the viaduct down. I like that. Wet paint. I thought I'd get this before they tear down, tear it all down, that this will all be demolished. This is Duck Works 2 up there. We're on the middle pillar. It is some beautiful artwork. I mean, this is not tagging. This it may be some kids tagging, but it's all artwork done with spray paint and whatnot. And they got this behind the pillar, behind the detour sign, which I can't tell what it means. They, they filmed, they painted all this along here. And it's just amazing. This will all be lost eventually. So I thought I'd come down and film it before they tear it all down. And it is quite beautiful artwork for, you know, some people don't like it. I like this kind of artwork. Uh, they even got it. Now that up there is tagging. That up down, down and that's a tag. This is a tag. This is artwork. And I'm in the caverns here. Some of this has been tagged over with, you know, bad stuff. This is tagging, but it's quite dark in here. I'm in a part of town that isn't the best part. I don't know if you, can, you can't see any more of the artwork over there. I need to keep out and walk behind the pillars here. So hopefully I got a little more light on the other side. I think I got more light over there. Anyway, so I'm going through the Tark Tunnel here. There's some more artwork up here on this side. It might be a lengthy video, so we'll wait and see. I didn't want I didn't want to lose this history of Denver. Because uh, it's all going to be demolished and torn down and replaced. And whatnot, this will all be lost. This stuff's been here for about 10, 15 years now, I'm guessing. Maybe not that long, maybe five years. And there's some on. Now, I'm not sure if that is tagging or artwork. But as you can see, it goes all the way up to the end of the viaduct on this side. And I will walk down the other side and film this side so you can see all the artwork on this side. And, uh, it's quite beautiful artwork. Oh, the Ralston Farina plant. It smells bad down here, guys. I'm going to kind of jump, jump across here. I hope they don't tell my car where I left it down there. Some more of the artwork. And you can see. 
see all that artwork on this side now, the opposite side. I'd walk down this side here. And to go to speed. Luckily there's not that much traffic down here. Luckily. But look at some of this artwork all on here. I mean, look at that side over there. Big killer in the way. But it's a, it'd be sad to lose some of this beautiful artwork like that one there. I mean, some of it's older, some of it's newer, but I didn't see this from the other side where the business more abstract stuff upon this one. It's not painted, it's glued on. But look at this artwork. This is all going to be gone. This will all be gone. And because they start to tear this down, uh, well, actually starts this month. And it's a 12 mile stretch from I 25 to Chambers Road. We're replacing all the. This isn't. Viaduct isn't that long. Viaduct's only like a mile long, a mile and a half long. That part up there, Viaduct. And there's a Ralston Perina plant. That's what smells dog food. I forgot how bad it was. Look at all this artwork. It's all going to be gone. I mean, it is just beautiful artwork, in my opinion. Now this is all, this isn't the artwork, this is all tagging here, and underneath here is all tagging. They painted over something on this side. But that's, this is all tagging. I don't know if you can see the stuff in, in between the pillars there, right there and there. And each one, you know, you can see those little green guys up on the pillars in between. Somebody got, they're all the same all the way along here. I think they changed colors from green to red to blue. Now they're, there's a purple one there, lavender pink. And here's some more of the pretty artwork. And here's some of the other artwork. That's dragging up on there. So I want to come down and film this. I'll post this on YouTube because it's going to be gone soon. Look at that! Look at the artwork. I like to make a road going up there with a the light rail train. And look at this butterfly. It's all. What is it? Little glitter pieces glued on the wall for the butterfly. That is just beautiful. I love the ducks. This will all be gone someday. Well, it will be gone. Not someday. It will be. Within the next year or so. I love the lady with her hands out. <laughs> and there goes Crayon. The inner city rebels. I mean, look at some of the artwork. I mean, this is something that will not be replaced. It is something that will not be replaced because it'll be gone. And you can't replace this. There's no way to tear down the wall and build a viaduct or a new underpass without tearing out the concrete. So, anyway, I just want to give you all a glimpse of the what lies underneath the I 70 viaduct in Denver, Colorado. I don't know if anybody else in the country has an underpass like this that has. What some people may call graffiti. This is not graffiti, this is art. It's all done usually with spray paint. And very talented young men and women. I don't know if they're young or not, but you know. There is your simply beautiful artwork that's going to be lost to urban, well, I don't know if you call it urban sprawl, but expansion, making bigger, better more stuff for people to, you know, lose. Anyway, it's Steve from Greenway Outdoor Maintenance. I have been very busy. I love the candle. Wow. I didn't notice that before. And on the back side of all these pillars are different designs. I love the lady there in the middle, middle pillar. Anyway, this is Steve from Greenway Outdoor Maintenance. Like and subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff. Leave me comments. I will post this eventually. So I got 